Hey guys, welcome back. Here we are with the last Friday of March, as well as the last album review I'll be doing for the month. Today, I'll be looking at Diamonds and Dance Floors by Ava Max. I did, did do a reaction stream to this album around the time of its release, but I believe it got blocked in certain countries. Uh, due to copyright, of course, um, you know, sucks that, uh, happens, but, you know, uh, of course, it is what it is. Anyways, I feel this is a great follow-up to her 2020 album. Let's go ahead and hop right into it. I would like to note real quick that I did pick up a physical copy of this album a couple weeks ago, but, but I'm really not going to display it today, mainly because of, you know, the setup I have, and I honestly don't feel it's uh, one of the best setups, uh, so, uh, it sucks, but, uh, figured it might be a little bit easier just to, you know, try and focus on me instead of, like, having the album set up, kind of blocking me a little bit and whatnot. This is her second studio album that was released on January 27th, 2023. The album has a runtime of about 40 minutes, and at the time of this recording, contains five singles. They are Maybe You're the Problem, Million Dollar Baby, Weapons, Dancing Sun, and One of Us. I personally feel this is a great album with touches of sounds from uh, the 80s and 90s, as well as her uh, vocal performance throughout the entire album. I feel this has been a big thing in a lot of uh, pop and mainstream music over the past few years. Artists try to recreate sounds of the 80s and 90s, which I don't necessarily think is a bad idea or concept, uh, but really one of my few dislikes of this album is how, uh, you know, pretty much all the tracks hit like two and a half to three minutes in length. With all that being said, let's go ahead and uh, hop into a few of the tracks on this album. We start the album off with Million Dollar Baby. We have a blend of pop and Euro dance on this track. The track also uh, inter interpolates Can't Fight the Moonlight by Leanne Rhymes. I feel it has an interesting instrumental, and I feel she has great vocals on the track. The lyrics are themed around self-worth and... Uh, Overcoming Adversity. I feel I've been listening to Maybe You're the Problem a lot lately. I feel it's one of my favorites on the album by far. The track has influences of dance pop and synth pop. I feel everything is great on this track. I do love her vocal perform performance yet again here. Uh, lyrically, I feel... Uh, it's about going through a breakup with a selfish partner. Ghost is another track I personally do enjoy. I feel it has an interesting, uh, instrumental. Uh, kind of feel, you know, it's an interesting track. Uh, I do, you know, again, enjoy the, uh, and Schmel, especially with the synths on here. I feel she has some decent vocals as well. Lyrically, I feel it's about going through a breakup or cutting ties with someone and you're being reminded of them in some way and, uh, you feel that they're present no matter what you're doing or where you're going. I feel, uh, 
weapons keeps the energy going on the album. I feel she keeps going well with vocals here on the track. I feel the instrumental is great too. I know this album is supposed to be personal and sad at some points, but I feel In the Dark is one of the sadder tracks on here. Lyrically, I feel it's about uh, only being loved in the dark when you can't be seen. No, no one wants to see you or uh, really know your emotions and how you're even feeling. I also love her emotion on One of Us. I love the instrumental on here, lyrically. I feel it's about trying not to hurt people you love no matter how hard you try. To close us out, I'll head on Dancing Sun. I feel this is a decent way to close the album. I'm not the biggest fan of her vocals on the chorus, but I feel she's pretty decent during the verses. I feel the instrumental is interesting as well. My favorite tracks include Maybe Your the Problem, Ghost, Weapons, and the Dark, one of Us, Cold as Ice, Last Night on Earth, and Dancing Sun. Today, I'll be giving this album a 5 out of 5. I feel this is a great album. I really didn't catch anything that I, you know, extremely dislikes or really dislikes. Uh, besides the shorter track lengths, of course, being like two and a half to three minutes in length. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to leave your thoughts down below in the comments next week. Uh, to kick off the first Friday of April, I'll be looking at uh, Viva La Vida or Death and All His Friends by Coldplay.